The next program I took that was impactful on how I coach other people was um, the Positive Intelligence course with Sherzad. And um, that is a course that comes around every once in a while and you can get together this group of people. And then once you have a group of, I, I think it's three to five people, it may be five plus people, I don't remember. But once you have a group, there's this amazing grant funded scholarship participation in this program. It's this course that's called Positive Intelligence and there is a Positive Intelligence coach training. I only took the course and I I can't remember if it was six weeks or 12 weeks, something like that. This course, my biggest takeaway from this course is that one of the easiest most brilliant tools we have are our five senses. To see, to hear, to touch, to smell. Like our five senses, like just simple, like the stuff we learned when we were little, little kids can help us to taste, sorry, immensely to calm our nervous system ground us in our space. And when we spend time in our lives outside of nervous system activation, outside of stress, outside of overwhelm, outside of confusion, when we take time every day to engage our five senses, to see the color yellow, to feel our fingertips, we build gray matter in our brain. When we build gray matter in our brain, it's like we're making room. <laughs> we're, we're building capacity. We're filling our cup so that when we stumble upon stressful situations, we have the capacity to navigate without being reactive. We have the capacity to navigate from a place of thoughtfulness from a place of um from a less activated nervous system and that is crucial so sometimes i'll even have a client recall their abortion story and a time that was particularly intense and then i'll take them back to that moment and say now think about that moment and just rub your fingertips together and at first that moment really activates their system, right? They have like a physical reaction to it. And when we attach that moment to this feeling activity, it's hard to keep the activation of the memory at such a heightened stress level when we're using our senses to calm our nervous system. So that's just like one little example of a tool I use from that course. But that course, my favorite thing to walk away with was just like, we can use so many moments of our day to build capacity in our minds, in our bodies, in our spirit, to be able to handle the more stressful, intense times in our lives. Super fun. I think that's the last course I remember. I mean, I, I'm always doing like little things, but those are the big things that have impact the way that I coach. Um, yeah, there you have it. That was fun. I hope you learned something useful and please join me in coaching. Um, all of this is just me trying to like help you understand the process of coaching. But when we get into your story and your specifics, that's when the real magic happens. That's when you really start changing your life. That's when you really start thriving. And many of my clients find me because of abortion, but then we just coach about life. We coach about work. We coach about relationships. We coach about parenting. We coach about health. Like whatever the things are, um, we learn how to thrive. And more often than not, there are things about our abortion stories that are the reasons that we can thrive. All of these tools come into play as we build self-compassion, curiosity, self-trust, and all the pieces and components that allow us to persevere in our lives.